Hey friends, and welcome back to John Dodd Drinks. If you didn't see, we hit 100 subs. It's definitely something to celebrate. So I got a little something different today. Normally we cover a classic cocktail. Um, today we're going to be doing a review. Not just any review. We're going to be covering the whole Johnny Walker Game of Thrones series. We have some White Walker by Johnny Walker. We have Johnny Walker, A Song of Ice. We have Johnny Walker, A Song of Fire. And then we have some um, good old Johnny Walker Red Label, just to compare it to. The Johnny Walker White Walker bottle actually says, freeze for an unexpected icy reveal. All right, so it's really early in the morning. This is what the bottle looks like before it goes in the freezer. Okay, I just got back from a long day of work. Let's see what this looks like. Um, oh, that is definitely new. It says, winter is here. There's also like this uh, nice blue pattern. So it's definitely, it's definitely nice that, uh, it's a really nice bottle design wise. Like that is an interesting concept. You don't see a lot of bottles that actually change effect with uh, color. So that's, that's pretty nice. I like that. So first up, we have our Johnny Walker Red. Now, many of you who have tried scotch or gotten into scotch, this is probably something you've had before, for sure. Um, it's a good entry-level scotch. Like, it's cheap, it's affordable, um, it's a well-known name. You definitely get some charred barrel on that. It has a, it has a bit of a sting to it. It's a really strong whiskey. You taste some of that oak. I'm not getting any real flavor notes from this. It's definitely something you can mix with. You get a little bit of that char barrel, but that, that's about it. Next we have our Johnny Walker A Song of Ice. Now I'm gonna read the back of these just cause you know, lore is fun to read. It's fun to hear. Ice shapes mountains and stops rivers. It's an unforgiving force that hardens everything it touches. Ice is embodied by House Stark, giving the North strength like no other kingdom. The Stark Sigil, a dire wolf, bears its fangs and warns that winter is coming. Like an icy northern wind, it howls its verse of a song of ice and fire. One of Scotland's most northern distilleries give the blend of a crisp, clean taste. The blend's delicate flavor is green and grassy, with notes of vanilla and tropical fruit. The blended Scotch whiskey is best enjoyed over ice for a cold, smooth finish. Grabbed a little bit of crushed ice for our Glen Cairn glass. We're going to do just as the bottle says to do. Try best over some crushed ice. We're going to give that a bit of a swirl. You know, I definitely smell some of that tropical fruit. Morse just smells like lemons to me, actually. You know, I get a lot of more taste compared to the red label. You smell the tropical fruit? I don't really get of it, any of it on the taste, though. I'm not getting any vanilla, but I'm still getting a lot of that. Almost getting some pineapple, now. That's not too bad. I like that one. Now on to White Walker by Johnny Walker. White Walker by Johnny Walker is a blended scotch whiskey inspired by the chill inducing white walkers at the heart of heart of the blend and single malts from Cardhu and Kleinelish. That's the same place as this one. One of Scotland's most northern distilleries. I like that actually. The White Walker is from one of their most northern distilleries that's really playing the role of the part. <laughs> to all who stand in their path with their tall blades of ice, capable of slicing through iron and their silent icy blue, this whiskey is chill filtered to one and a half Celsius and best served cold directly from the freezer, featuring notes of caramelized sugar and vanilla. 
Fresh red berries with a touch of orchard fruit. This whiskey develops in complexity as it warms to room temperature. So, so let's try this just as it came in, just out of the freezer. I can't really smell anything at all. That just might be because it's cold. Whew. I do get some of that caramel taste, it says on the bottle, but also, that's, a, that's really strong. That has a lot of ethanol taste to it. Um, almost medical like even with it chilled not getting much of those berries but I do taste some of that caramel coming through it's a little sweeter on the second sip it has a really long finish too I'm not getting any of those other flavors that says in the bottle I'm getting the caramel a bit but I'm not getting any of those other flavors it says to be looking for we're gonna let that sit warm up to room temperature to see how it evolves later Let's move on to Johnny Walker, A Song of Fire. Now the first thing is this has a nice holographic bottle to it, like it sort of shines. I'm going to turn on this light, I'm not sure if that's going to show up on the camera or not, but it's definitely holographic, it has a nice look to it. Fire consumes everything it touches, it melts steel to hone the sharpest, deadliest blade. Fire courses through the veins of House Targaryen and it is made the flesh in the form of its dragons. With fire in their blood, the Targaryen dragons breathe ferocious flames. Like a scorching blaze, they roar their verse of A Song of Fire and Ice. Johnny Walker, A Song of Fire is a blended scotch whiskey inspired by these beasts of the sky. Peated malt from Kaolilla lends subtle smoke, tempered by a rich rounded sweetness. A full-bodied flavor delivers subtle, subtle red fruit a hint of spice and a sweet smoke. This blended scotch whiskey is best enjoyed neat for a warm, smooth finish. Okay, gonna pour some of this. Now the first thing I can see out of all of these, this is the darkest scotch out of all of these. Even compared to the Johnny Walker uh, Red Label. So this might tell me it's either the most aged or the most colored. The White Walker is the least colored. I'm wondering if this is just uh, aged the bare minimum to pass as scotch. It's like a snowy gold color. So that's definitely a theme I see there. This, as we go from the cold to the white walker to the song of fire, it looks like it goes up in color. So that's that's pretty neat. Anyways, let's give this one a taste. Oh, that is spicy. Very spicy. Definitely, this is definitely some cinnamon and cardamom coming through right at the front of that. Almost has like a cinnamon candy, cinnamon heart candy smell to it. It's not a long finish, the finish goes away really fast, but it's definitely really spicy for sure. All right, lastly, I wanna come back to the White Walker now that this has been sitting for a while, cause it did say the drink evolves as it warms up. So let's give this another sip. You know, that is a lot sweeter. Contrary to the bottle saying to enjoy it fresh out of the freezer and let it warm up, I actually find this tastes better at room temperature than it does straight out of the freezer. Now, if I was to rank these in order of one to five and from my least favorite sip to my favorite sip, I'd say my least favorite would be the Johnny Walker Red Label. There was no flavor to it. Just tasted like whiskey, a little bit of barrel, and there was no flavor notes to it at all. Followed by the Johnny Walker, White Walker, fresh out of the freezer. I don't know, the cold, did, the cold didn't do it well. Not for me, at least. Uh, my, next, my next favorite would probably be the Johnny Walker Song of Ice. It was nice. It was actually nice on ice, on crushed ice. Um, I couldn't find anything bad to say about it. Nothing really stood out as amazing though. Um, my next favorite would probably be the Johnny Walker Song of Fire. Again, it, ha it had a nice spicy kick to it. I actually really like that. And then surprisingly, my favorite sip out of today's video surprisingly would probably be the White Walker by Johnny Walker. Um, but at room temperature. 
I don't know, it tasted a lot sweeter, like a lot of more sweetness came through and yeah, I actually get a lot of those uh, tasting notes that it says. If you're going to be picking up at least one of these bottles, I would highly recommend the White Walker by Johnny Walker. Definitely enjoy it warm, but um, obviously freeze the bottle just for the cool, cool design. Like the bottle design is amazing. Like even if I'm, once I finish this bottle, I'm probably going to keep this bottle as a souvenir. So that's, that's just really neat how it transforms. Again, thank you everyone for 100 subs. Um, if you aren't subbed yet, remember to sub, leave a like, comment below, and remember, winter is coming. Cheers.